I've got a great book for you. It's a pretty topical one at the moment because we're doing a lot of sitting around at home during this lockdown. So it's called Pig the Blob. And it used to be Pig the Pug, of course. But uh, this is about him doing lots of sitting around. And it's by Aaron Blebley. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he was shockingly lazy. Such a shameful display. He lived in a flat, horizontal position, which left him in a truly appalling condition. Full of candy and soda and thick mozzarella, Pig was a hardcore, full-time sofa dweller. His only exertion was swiping a screen. Swipe, stare, repeat was his gruelling routine. Sure, once in a while he would lift a remote, but it made him quite tired and his ankles would bloat. Oh dear. His breathing was heavy and his heart rate would quicken from binging on TV and nuggets of chicken. Pig dug in deep. He was part of the couch, an immovable lump in a warm, sticky pouch. Well, Trevor over here, he was really worried. Pig's health was at risk. We should take a quick jog or a nice walk or something quite brisk. Pig stirred from his stupor. His reply was quite tart. He simply said, no! We'd have so much fun, though, tried Trevor once more. It was a suggestion Pig chose to ignore. From a bunker of sloth, when with no sense of shame, Pig returned to his ice cream and video game. And that's when they heard it. Trev stopped in his tracks. What's groaning, asked Pig, through a mouthful of snacks. The first groan was subtle, the next one was not. The floorboards were groaning, yes, groaning a lot. Could that be my tummy, asked Pig, blinking slow. Then crash, exploded the floorboards. Hey, watch out below. Dad have just been squashed. Well, these days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig makes an effort to come out and play. He's up off the couch doing cartwheels and squats. He practices yoga and goes jogging lots. His workouts are great, but the part he likes best is when he gets home and he can have a nice rest. Righto, so make sure you get off that couch get out, do a few things, but also come home and have a nice rest and have a lovely time. Have fun, folks. <laughs>